What's up, guys? It is Monday, February 20th. It's 7.21 a.m. And this is the Crypto Newsletter. And we have a couple of huge announcements coming out of some big groups here, as well as just individual coin announcements. And we're going to dive into all that. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit the notification bell, get updated in real time when we drop these market updates, newsletters, deep dives. So first off, we have existing stable coins won't meet forthcoming global standards the Financial Stability Board said. So the International Standard Setter's recommendations for regulating crypto and stablecoins are set to be released in 2023. Many existing stablecoins would not meet the high-level recommendations soon to be set by global standard setters like the Financial Stability Board, its chair, Klaus Knott, said on Monday. The Financial Stability Board's upcoming guidance targets the strengthening of stablecoin governance frameworks redemption rights and stabilization mechanisms and not said in a letter to G20 finance ministers and central bank governors. According to its work plan for 2023 published on Monday, the FSB is set to finalize its recommendations for regulating crypto and stablecoins by July. Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies pegged to the value of other assets like the US dollar or the euro or commodities. So regular regulators around the world have been taking steps to oversee payments focused stable coins, payments focused stable coins, most of which are backed by fiat currency reserves and the former cash equivalents or more infamously by unsecured short term debt. While stablecoin issuers have made efforts to cut private debt out of their reserves and improve transparency, Knott's message indicates th- these measures may not be enough. In his letter, he added that many existing stablecoins wouldn't meet the international norms set by payments or security standard setters either. In February 2022, the FSB warned that crypto risk to financial stability could rapidly escalate. Regulators around the world, including the FSB, have been increasing efforts to oversee the sector following last year's many company collapses, including token issuer Terra and crypto exchange FTX. Last week, the FSB said it will work with other standard-setting bodies that determine how decentralized finance should be regulated. It is also planning a paper with the International Monetary Fund on regulatory issues issues associated with crypto. There we go. We always said it was going to be an international organization. Now, if we go into it a little more with other things, so Hong Kong's SFC looking to allow Bitcoin, Ethereum retail trading. So Hong Kong Securities Future Commission officially released a statement on Monday chalking out its plan to allow retail investors to trade cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that actually reminds me as well, too, that we had one of the Winklevoss twins. He was saying that he believes that his working thesis at the moment is that the next bull run is going to start in the east, so over on the eastern side of the world. And it will be a humbling reminder that crypto is a global asset class, and it's so true, and that the West, really the US, always only ever had two options, embrace it or be left behind. It can't be stopped. That we know. Any government that doesn't offer clear rules and sincere guidance will be left in the dust quickly. This will mean missing out on the greatest period of growth since the rise of the commercial internet, and it will mean missing out on shaping and being a foundational part of the future financial infrastructure of this world and beyond. So there we go. Start in the middle or of the east. Yeah. So there we go. Like it's a global thing here. It's not like it's a U.S. stock where, you know, it's based off the U.S.'s regulations and guidelines. This is really a global phenomenon here. And uh, we can have bull runs kick off that start from the other side of the world, even when the, the U.S. is playing hardball here at regulations. So then we have this coming up. We have Bank of International Settlement Summit 2023. It's March 21st of 2022nd. You want to know what happens March 23rd? ISO 222. So all these things are lining up. There's so many kind of announcements, events, things where catalysts could pop off at. And we got some very exciting times ahead. So the BIS Innovation Summit brings together global policymakers, senior executives from the financial and technology industries and academics to discuss how technological innovation could help central banks and financial markets to navigate uncertain times and at the same time disrupt the landscape in which central banks and financial intermediaries operate. So there we go. So welcome in welcome in the opening remarks, uncertainty in technology, innovation, and payments, how technology can support central banks and financial institutions in their response to uncertain times. 
exploring new horizons, CBDCs, keeping momentum in uncertain times. You have all the big names here. You have European Central Bank, you have Monetary Authority of Singapore, Bank of Korea, BIS Board of Directors, BIS, the winding road to CBDC adoption, legal and resilience issues, University of Basel, Checkpoint, uh, Hong Kong, BIS Innovation Hub. You got using CBDCs across borders, lessons from practical experimentation, regulatory lessons from the crypto winner, the New York Department of Financial Services. And then you have, uh, I think this is the Netherlands Bank. And then you got project showcases, so Project Atlas. You have financial market infrastructures of the future, cross-border trends in payments and beyond. You have SWIFT there. You have Nordic Payments. You got Ant Group. You got BIS Innovation Hub Singapore. Ethical imp implications of using AI and machine learning in the financial industry. And then you have other projects like Project Turmalin, Project Gaia, workshop on fully scalable settlement system. What's the fuss about for real? We got CBDCs ready to go and we know what's going to be back in them. <laughs> then we have technology and risk related to climate, economic uncertainty and market integrity. Workshop on Project Merid Meridian and Project Polaris. You have Project Embridge, you got London showing out, you got Nordic Center showing out with the BIS Innovation Hub, Hong Kong, Singapore, Project Nexus, Embridge, you got current regulatory and supervisory challenges from technological innovation, climate change, and other sources of uncertainty, a high-level panel on technology to address heightened climate change risks. So we're seeing the narrative that we've been tracking for months now, years now, playing out this is going to be how and what the narrative narrative is to implement all this bank of Mauritius and then swiss federal department of finance you have rick's bank and then you have hong kong monetary authority and then ai and machine learning to better understand the rapidly evolving economic and financial landscape jp morgan ai research banking and financial markets ibm bis innovation of london so you, you're starting to see the big names that so ibm jp morgan we know jp morgan we have chain ties of that xcn we have ibm we have xlm ties of that so we know which coins are going to be involved at the highest the highest levels and we have identity and financial services. Can technology mitigate the trade-offs between KYC and privacy and Project Aurora, techno technological innovation at central banks, Bank of Spain, Digital Currency Institute, Federal Reserve System, BIS. So all the big names are there and it's right around the time of the ISO. And then in conversation, the effect of technological innovation by big techs and fintechs on competition in the financial sector. Boom, right there. So we're seeing the narrative take shape. It's been taking shape for years now and we're we're very close to the moment here and on top of it oh yeah let me go back into this article here because i wanted to pull up the letter here we go so here's the actual letter it's six pages and then i'm going to share some some pretty solid news coming out of chain here so let's go into that actually let me share the chain first so Onyx, so which is chain, in addition to supporting Board API Club NFTs on the Onyx liquidity protocol from our aimed March 1st main net launch, we will also support supplying and borrowing of Ape. So that is huge news because that's, you know, that's the gold standard, the original NFT that popped off, right? So then we have this. Chain announces acquisition of licensed crypto company in Europe and launch of Chain Prime. Chain Prime is poised to disrupt the OTC market, bringing a new level of efficiency and innovation to crypto trading. And before I get into this article, if you want to go to a new level, you got, if you want to go to a new level, you have 14 hours, 14 hours because we are shutting the doors to the gate and by Monday, which is today, and in 14 hours, we're closing it down because we're ready to dial in on this next big wave and pump in the market, and we're going to close it down until further notice. So if you want to get updated with chain and the signals for that, we're waiting for a four-hour buy now signal for flashing through on the Discord here. We have all these uh, signals channels. We're waiting for a four-hour buy now, and we have yet to get one yet. We have the prepare to buy soons. We have the prepare to buy soons, all that stuff. And we have a five day buy now that came in. But if we're looking for immediate upside, we're waiting for the four hour buy now. So if you want access to the channels, you want access to the trades that we're taking, we're absolutely crushing it. Then 
join the Discord link will be in the bio. Ask for the white glove and we'll deliver it to you on a silver platter. But make sure it's within 14 hours here because we're closing the gate on Monday until further notice. So let's go back into this and read it. Chain, the leading provider of blockchain infrastructure and Web3 services, is pleased to announce the acquisition of a licensed European crypto provider, which has become a new entity, Chain Europe UAB. Following this new acquisition, Chain has launched Chain Prime, an automated over-the-counter trading system designed to give clients access to deep liquidity through Chain Engine. Chain Prime will be des- designed to aggregate centralized order books from top exchanges to provide users with the best execution rates. Unlike typical OTC providers, Chain Prime will not charge a large fee or high spread to execute high volume trades. Instead, its proprietary chain engine automates the entire process, including settlement and delivery to verified accounts. Chain Prime will be available 24-7, 365, and it will not be accessible in all regions. Once Chain Prime is launched to the public, additional information and terms and conditions for service zones will be available. They're thrilled to launch Chain Prime, the CEO said. Chain Prime is a leading edge product that will provide users with access to deep liquidity and the best execution rate. We are confident that this product will revolutionize the OTC market. Chain Prime will revolutionize OTC trading, enabling buyers and sellers to securely trade cryptos through various exchanges with maximum privacy. Chain's decentralized technology framework allows for greater flexibility than traditional exchanges, enabling users to customer customize their transactions according to their needs. With Chain Prime, traders can enjoy the intimacy of highly individualized OTC trades. Chain Prime is currently available through invitation only. We invite you to visit chain.com slash prime for more information on it and how to sign up. Boom, right there. So I might have to look into that. We're going to have to look into this for an over-the-counter kind of thing here. So institutional liquidity platform. Chain Prime, the epitome of brokerage services designed specifically for accredited investors and institutions. Our platform offers seamless, large digital asset trades with unparalleled efficiency and cost effectiveness. With real-time market rate quotes powered by our extensive liquidity aggregation pools, you can execute execute your trades at the best market rate available without any delay say goodbye to high slippage costs and hello to near zero fee transactions boom right there right there so huge news for chain that's happening march 1st so that four hour by now will probably flash anytime soon here so we're gonna be on that in the discord so now let's finish this off so they have some concern over like derivatives and like We will undertake work to enhance market participants' liquidity preparedness for margin and collateral calls, which were important factors in the March 2020 market turmoil to identify data gaps in regulatory reporting. In conjunction with the IOSCO, we will conduct a peer review of money market mutual fund policy reform measures that take stock of members' progress and implementation of reforms designed to make the sector more resilient, crypto assets and DeFi. So they go into that, the events of the past year, talking about FTX, the G20 has charged the FSB with coordinating the delivery of an effective and comprehensive regulatory framework for crypto assets, for which we in the sectoral standard setters have jointly put forth an ambitious 2023 work program. This year, the FSB will finalize its recommendations for the regulation, supervision, and oversight of crypto assets and markets and its recommendations target at global stablecoin arrangements, which have characteristics that may make threats to financial stability more acute. The recommendations for global stablecoin arrangements include guidance to strengthen governance frameworks, clarify and strengthen redemption rights, and the need to maintain effective stabilization mechanisms, among other revisions. Importantly, the FSB's work includes that many existing stablecoins would not currently meet these high-level recommendations. So it's going to be very interesting when they release that and about what these global stablecoins are that meet those kind of guardrails to them as a high level st- kind of stable coin there so now let's go down so they're talking about enhancing cross-border payments and cyber and operational resilience climate change so all this you know t- the same verbiage out of the bis with climate change right we're seeing that from the fsb because they're all in cahoots together so you know we're onto it and we know kind of the narrative and we're going to just play it how we play it 
And if we come down to our conclusion, financial stability is indispensable to robust and sustainable economic growth. Our ambitious work plan for 2023 highlights the various areas in which progress will be made to further strengthen the global financial system from climate risk to cross-border payments, crypto assets to investment funds. The deeply interconnected and globalized nature of the financial system is such that a multilateral cross-sectoral policy approach is required to enhance its resilience, along with an approach focused on coordination and policy policy consistency. Working through its members, the FSB is uniquely placed to conduct this coordination and will continue to do so steadfastly in 2023. There we go. Things are moving fast. You know, 2023 is the year. It's that make or break year. We've been saying it, baby. So we need to get our tunnel vision on because boy, are we headed into some interesting days ahead, especially it being eight days away from February being over and March And everything unfolding, we're about 30 to 45 days away from fireworks, man. Let me tell you that. So if you want to get with the community to kind of navigate these uncharted waters and kind of get situated with a team that's watching this 24-7, 365, then come join the Discord, link in the bio, hit the announcement, say, hey, I want the white glove. We will deliver it to you on a silver platter because 14 hours left. Due to the influx of demand, you know, no more VIPs and being able to sign up after 14 hours until further notice. So I hope you guys make the decision to step through the Stargate. If you do, I'll be out the other side and I will greet you accordingly. And I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to be covering some deep dives, probably do a little more market updates today. So I'll see you in that and in the Discord.